down that hobby rabbit hole on YouTube is gotta be one of my favorite guilty pleasures. Discovering cool games, lore, characters from some of our favorite pastimes has been a big joy to me, which brings you to one of my favorite games ever. Mordheim. Now you probably clicked on this video for the same reason. You love Mordheim too. And I don't blame you. It's got everything that not only RPG players would love, but everything that war gamers would love, which makes it just an amazing crossover, an amazing introduction to the hobby. And for people like me who are really interested in the art, the hobby, the crafting, the miniatures, the painting, there are endless, endless ways to personalize and just go insane with building your very own Morn table which I've done over the past few years I've built quite a considerable table and you've seen some of that in this video um, and I have to give some shout outs of course uh, some of the buildings you saw and the posters are from a YouTube channel devs and dice and uh, I'm gonna put a link down below they have 
um, so just some great videos, some great high quality uh, Mordheim, and a funny, charming uh, Swedish host. So check that out on the link below. Now the game itself is almost become its own genre. Games like Frostgrave, Stargrave, kind of follow the same principle. And it has to do with building your own warband, going on missions, skirmishes between warbands, discovering treasure, and just, for me, the ability to tell great stories. So I spent a few years building an, a very epic table and I'm reading the rules and I'm getting ready to just get into more time. And I'm really, really kind of drawn to the witch hunters. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna find some cool witch hunters. So I'm one of those 3D printing maniacs love my mini factory just one of the best resources 3d printing is just the coolest if you haven't gotten into it get into it it's amazing so I'm gonna look through some files here I've already sort of uh, purchased a few that we're gonna use this is a great model right here this is a Solomon Kane model which is uh, based off the, the famous uh, comic book character. Never really read any of those. Uh, comment below if you have and you like that. Um, let's look for Witch Hunters too. Let's see what else we got here. And there's just so much. Uh, that's what I love about this uh, site. But there is sort of kind of an illusion of choice a little bit. There are a lot of choices. Sometimes it's, yeah, this guy. This looks great. It's kind of like got that plague mask. I think this will these these we're gonna print a couple of these guys. They're gonna look great in my little witch hunter warband. All right, so we save these, print them up, and then uh, it's time to print and paint them, boys. Yeah, that's why we're here. All right, so we're not going to get too crazy in here. So I've Zenithal highlighted these guys, and I've just picked out a few little spots on them to highlight. And what I'm going for here is that's a simple, simple, like kind of three color scheme we're gonna do kind of like a red white and black there's gonna be some other colors in there um, but primarily focused on that so I, basically I Zenith all highlighted these guys so I prime a black then I do a sideways dry brush with a gray and then a downward dry brush with a white, which you could do with an airbrush if you don't have, but dry brushing is, is easy. Sometimes I just want a dry brush because I don't want to set up that airbrush and clean that thing. So yeah, you see here that I've just sort of done some little spots, the boots, the cape, the sword, some of the details, and now I'm just going over with the speed paint. And I'm using the speed paint, Gravelord Gray, as kind of a wash. And I've drifted out of the shot here a little bit. Bear with me now. Um, some great minis here too. Some of these minis are from uh, Loot Studios too. Uh, one of my favorite. I'm gonna put a link down below with some of the other minis that I've gotten. So yeah, I'm just taking the the Gravelord Gray, putting it all over that boy, getting them nice and detailed. Little cheat. Um, love these speed paints too from Army Painter. I don't really ever mess with Citadel products, so I can't say that I've tried the uh, Citadel version. 
Um, and I have not tried the Vallejo version either. Um, but I love these speed paints. This uh, slap chop thing that is all over the place right now. Um, it's great. It's great. So this is that little Plague Boy. He slap chop too. Um, you know, for me, you know, any of those, if you are one of those miniature painters that's going to be out there spending weeks, months, going for the Golden Demon, I don't judge you, but it's not for me. You know, I, I'm working the day job, got the family, doing the thing. You know, the hobby time is limited, so speed paints and things like the slap chop method really allow me to get the most out of my hobby time as an old man with responsibilities. So yeah, we're just taking all these little guys, going over with the Gravelord Gray. Some of the spots I'm avoiding. I still want some of the the white to pop, but mainly the metal, the leather, those places. And I'm really happy with the way these guys are looking. You could go with a complicated thing, but I do like sometimes to do some minimalist type paint jobs on these guys. But yeah, so that's kind of the simple thing I'm thinking on here. So we're just going to like roll that beautiful bean footage here and let you enjoy the music and some painting over here. Just, you know, call me uh, Bob Ross, your little therapist, just letting you relax here. All right, and we're back. We have washed all these guys, puts all the colors on here, so now I've whipped out my trusty wet palette. And we've just got some white, and we're going to find some of these little highlights and just do a little details on here. You know, these guys could be done at the wash, but, you know, let's... Let's spruce them up a little bit. Let's put a little spice on our taco mix here. Yeah, so just grabbing each little guy and just popping some highlights on those boys. Over here we got on the spear. And I think to when you're painting one of your war bands and you have your theme, one thing to do that I like to do and even you know units with war games you got your color scheme is you know maybe the one guy he's got the red cape maybe one guy he's got the white cape maybe one guy's got the you know mix it up you can make those three colors go a lot further if you're kind of doing a little bit different on, on each guy um, and in the end I think it just looks good. It, it helps the immersion. It's just a great way to, to go. That's, uh, that's my recommendation on there, yeah. So we're just trying to find the highlights where the light would hit. We're lower on the model. We're doing a little bit less. And I'm just sort of glazing on some of these spots. Just kind of glazing a little bit more white into that guy. Trying to find the folds, accentuate the folds. So we've highlighted all these boys. I'm gonna use these nice little griff hounds from my uh, Age of Sigmar collection to be the little dog boys in my witch hunter band. And uh, that's about it for painting these guys. So I want to thank you guys for uh, checking out my video. And uh, we're going to leave you with some more cool, gratuitous shots of the completed war band. So enjoy, and we'll see you next time.